What's up guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a rundown of all things Lafayette, the pros and the cons. And even though there are a lot more pros and there are cons, I'm definitely gonna be covering everything that you need to know about Lafayette, California. So let's jump in and check it out. What's up guys, I am Adam DeBrinich and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Second, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because every single week I am bringing you a new video, giving you everything that you need to know about living in or moving to the East Bay right here in the San Francisco Bay Area of California. Also, I am a licensed real estate agent and as much as I love making these videos for you, I would love even more to be able to help you with your real estate needs. So that number that keeps popping up below, I do answer all of my own phone calls, emails, text messages. If there is anything that I can do for you, any questions that you may have about the real estate market here, I would love to be a resource for you. So please do not hesitate to reach out. With that being said, let's jump into the pros and cons of Lafayette, California. All right, so the first thing I wanna cover about Lafayette, California, and I would consider it a big pro, is that it is a very tight-knit community. There's a lot of pride for people that live here in Lafayette. It's a wonderful community. It's very tight-knit. It is a place where you will get to know the people that live here, whether that's just meeting people in your neighborhood or through the events that Lafayette holds throughout the year, connecting through the small downtown, the schools. Lafayette just has a great reputation for being a very tight-knit community and a place that you can really get to know people. So if that's something that you're looking for, you'll definitely have this as a pro on your list for Lafayette. So the second thing that I wanna jump into here is the housing for Lafayette. The housing here in Lafayette is some of the most expensive that you will find in Contra Costa County. The price point here is very high. You can find some properties in the low 1 million range of 1.2, 1.3. Those are properties that probably need quite a bit of work. The, the medium price here is, is quite a bit higher than that. It does depend on the neighborhood that you're looking at as far as the actual price point that you will find for that particular neighborhood. But if you're thinking about moving to Lafayette and you wanna buy a home here, just be prepared to spend a million plus. Uh, you're definitely gonna be in that range. Now on the pro side though of the housing is that Lafayette has done a really good job of bringing different housing options to the people that live here. So you're gonna find a lot more luxury townhouses, condos. These types of properties are located very, very close to downtown. A lot of them are even within walking distance right off the main strip of Mount Diablo Boulevard in Lafayette. And so it gives it a little bit more of an urban feel when you can walk right out your front door and be at you know the restaurants or the shops uh, from these condos and townhomes. The price point for these is gonna be slightly lower. Of course, you're gonna have the trade-off that you would have not having a single family home in a big yard, but it does give you some options if Lafayette is a place that you wanna live and the affordability factor of the housing is something that is on your mind, then look at the townhomes and the condos here in Lafayette. So the next thing I have on my list that I wanna cover off that is still tied to the housing market are the actual neighborhoods here in Lafayette. The neighborhoods here in Lafayette do vary quite a bit. So for example, neighborhoods like Happy Valley are very spread out. The lots are really large. The homes are very large. It's a beautiful neighborhood, lots of tree-lined streets kind of winding up through the foothills. So what you're gonna get there is a lot of privacy, but things can also feel very secluded. Now, if that's what you're looking for, Happy Valley can be a fantastic neighborhood for you. But if you're looking for a space that doesn't feel quite as secluded, quite as separated, a neighborhood like Burton Valley would be a great option where it's more of a traditional neighborhood. Uh, still, the homes are on large lots. You get ranch style homes, good square footage. Uh, price point would be a bit lower than you would find at Happy Valley. So the nice part about Lafayette is there is something for everybody. If you do want that privacy and seclusion, you do have that here in Lafayette. If you're looking for, like I said, that more traditional neighborhood, you can find that too. And there's a little bit of something in between there as well. So jumping into our next topic, Lafayette is definitely family friendly. It's definitely got a family vibe. And what comes with that though, is that it is a quieter town. There's not a ton of nightlife life there not a lot of bars, just a couple of those, but there are lots of restaurants, there's cool boutique shops. Lafayette does a great job of holding events throughout the year. So depending upon whether you're looking for an area that has a lot of nightlife, or if you are looking for something that has more 
more of that family vibe. Lafayette is going to be more on the quiet side, not a lot of nightlife. If you are looking for that, you're gonna need to pop into Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek will have definitely more options for that. Uh, it's only about a five, 10 minute drive away, depending upon where you're at in Lafayette. And then of course you can get out to Oakland and San Francisco pretty easily as well. If a vibrant nightlife and a lot of activity is something that you're looking for. But if you are looking for more of that family vibe, a little bit more quiet suburban type of lifestyle, Lafayette is the place to be. Okay, jumping into the next major pro for Lafayette are the schools. Now the schools in Lafayette are ranked among some of the best in California. If you go to a resource like greatschools.org that a lot of parents use to try to learn more about the school ratings, what those schools have to offer, I definitely recommend greatschools.org as a resource, but you will find that Lafayette schools are basically ranked nine and above across the board. There might be an occasional eight in there, but that is one of the things that absolutely makes Lafayette one of the most desirable highly sought after areas in all of Contra Costa County are the schools. And moving right into the next pro is Lafayette is also known as a very safe community. Now, again, this is something that you're gonna wanna do your own due diligence on as a real estate agent. I can't provide guidance on crime rates and that sort of thing, but those statistics are very easy to look up and you'll find that Lafayette is again, ranked very high as far as safety goes throughout the Bay Area and of course throughout the state of California. Again, if you're looking for a safe community, Lafayette will likely have you covered. Okay, so I wanna tie my next topic as a pro and a con together. Uh, first being the pro side is its location and its proximity within Contra Costa County. Now, it's, again, it's one of the things that people love about Lafayette. It's located right on Highway 24. So for highway access, it's right there. It's very easy to get onto. It, it can take you into the major employment hubs very quickly. Uh, you can get into Oakland in about 15, 20 minutes. And then of course, depending upon the traffic, you can get out to San Francisco pretty quickly as well. So just the easy access to the highways uh, for Lafayette is something that's very attractive. It's just a great location to get to those major employment hubs. And it also sits right on the intersection of Highway 680. And so if you need to get into Walnut Creek, San Ramon, Dublin. It's very easy to get to the 680 freeway from there. And of course, if you're heading north on 680, that's usually the direction that people will head out to get to Tahoe. And you can be in Lake Tahoe in about two and a half, three hours. And so again, Lafayette's proximity within Contra Costa County is a big plus for it. And the other major highlight that Lafayette has in regards to transportation is that it has a BART station right in the middle of town. And so again, if you work in Oakland, if you work in San Francisco, jumping right on to BART, the BART ride to Oakland again is probably about 15 20 minutes depending upon which stop that you have and it's about 30 to 35 minutes getting into San Francisco so having that easy access to a freeway and having a BART station is a major plus for Lafayette but that also comes with the con because during rush hour the freeway on highway 24 is absolutely jam-packed especially in the afternoons it is bumper to bumper traffic so again if you're driving you're gonna hit a lot of traffic trying to get back to Lafayette in the mornings highway 24 can also be congested and so traffic is something that you're absolutely going to find in Lafayette and because Lafayette has one major thoroughfare that runs right down the middle of town like I said that's Mount Diablo Boulevard during the rush hour traffic that road can get very very busy as well and so whether you're on the freeway or you're on one of the street roads you are going to find lots of traffic and so that's just something that you're going to have to have on your radar but i have the traffic as a con for lafayette okay so we are getting into my last couple topics that i want to highlight for you for lafayette california first being the downtown now i've talked about the downtown throughout this video but the downtown area has got lots of restaurants uh, lots of cool shops it's a downtown that people love to hang out at love to grab brunch lunch dinner there's tons of great restaurants if you're looking to do a date night and there are also cool restaurants that you can bring the family to there are also some boutique shops around there that you can wander around and get some shopping done kill a saturday afternoon so the last thing that i want to cover off on is the weather now lafayette does get some great weather throughout the year you are going to have nice warm days during the summer cool days during the winter and of course those transitional seasons of spring and fall are going to come with the things that you would expect for those seasons but there are some other things that i do want to cover in in regards to the weather for lafayette now depending upon the days sometimes the fog can get pulled in coming over the berkeley hills and so you do run into some foggy days where compared to other parts of contra costa county you wouldn't have that fog and 
because of where it's located in Contra Costa County, you are going to get windier days compared to other areas of Contra Costa County. And so that wind or the potential fog, the, the nice warm summer days can be slightly cooler. And I have found even personally for myself having dinner outside in Lafayette, the evenings can get quite chilly, especially when that wind comes through. And so it is a place that you may want to have a jacket, but all in all, the weather in Lafayette is really, really fantastic. You are going to get to experience those four seasons in Lafayette. And a lot of people like the fact that the temperatures can be a little bit more moderate there compared to just even in neighboring towns like uh, Walnut Creek or Concord, where, for example, it gets a lot hotter during the summer. So if you do want to get those four seasons, but you want the temperatures to be a little bit more moderate, again, Lafayette will have you covered there. All right, so those are my pros and cons for Lafayette. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out. I'd love to be a resource for you with any of your real estate needs. Again, the number that's popping up below, I do answer all of my own phone calls, emails, text messages. I would love to be a resource for you with any of your real estate needs. So with that being said, I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great weekend ahead and I look forward to catching you on the next video.